<laughs> nice man, yeah. that was awesome. Was awesome. <laughs> this morning, I'm going on a game drive. Let's see what will happen. just spotted a serval cat. They're one of my favourite small cats found in the Mara. They kind of look like mini leopards. So there are quite a few servals around, but because they're quite small, the long grass makes it very difficult for you to actually find them. So this morning was pretty special. I don't think I got any great photos, but with servals, the sighting's enough. So we've arrived at the hippo pool. As you can see, there's uh, lots of hippos. Where are they? Yep, that. Oh, I love hippos. They're very, very funny to watch because you know, they kind of bob up and down, and you think that they're standing on the bottom, but most of the time they're actually upright, and their head is the part that's sticking out of the water. So they're on their back feet. Vertical with their head along the top, which would be great to see from under the water, but I'm not going to get in there with them. So when I photograph hippos, I like to try and get as low down as possible. So I'm actually going to be using my bigger lens, which is a 300 millimeter 2.8. I'm going to be lying on the floor to try and get as low down as possible. Now you're not allowed out of the Jeep in the Masai Mara, which is a shame, but I completely understand it. And also, you have no idea what else might be lurking in this water. There could be crocs or just a very angry hippo, so best keep your distance. Some big boys in there, and a few, uh, a few youngsters as well. That mix, isn't it? Oh, they're great fun to spend time with hippos, aren't they? They're very entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> suddenly start you know, honking or yeah. grunting, and there might be some fights. And if you wait long enough, you want to get that yawn picture because that's that's what everyone wants. Um, you know, we've been here for about half an hour or so. I've seen about three yawns. Um, I've been using a faster shutter speed, an aperture of f4, because I want to just isolate. Ooh. I just want to isolate the hippo that is yawning or doing the behaviour. The light is now quite harsh for hippos because they are very glossy especially when they're you know, in the water and they lift their head out. The water really shines bright on one side and then you've got the harsh shadow on the other, which does look quite cool if done in the right way, um, but also can be quite difficult. So getting here early is, uh, is important.
So I think we are probably going to move off from here, see if we can find something else. There were a load of lions outside my tent last night, really close as well. You know, we're talking you know, 10, 20 meters away, roaring. So fingers crossed we get to find them this morning, but. Uh, yeah, let's try it. See, drop some lions and we'll be back. Yeah, drop some lions or anything. Yeah, We've already been lucky with the serval and a great session with the hippos. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's go. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, right. I can see now there is a big herd of buffalo over there, so maybe you can drive over there so that we can see, you can check if there is some calving babies and some dominant bull, maybe. This is why I love safari. We're en route to the buffalo herd, but what does Cara spot? A cheetah. You never know what you're going to see on safari. Just now we thought we were going to drive over to this buffalo herd, but Cora spotted, oh, where is it? Yeah, there, this line. At first we thought it was a cheetah because it's on top of a termite mound, but no, it's a female line. And for me, it's in a great spot. I love clean images and the fact that she's sitting on the only raised part in the landscape and there's beautiful long golden grass around her. She's the only thing and stands out in the frame, which is great. I've shot with my 300, but I've actually put on the 70 to 200. I want a slightly wider shot just to show the open bleakness of it. But, oh, fantastic. And she was standing up, but then she turned around, lay down and faced right towards us, which, oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. No more waiting around. Let's take the picture. Sitting. Oh, perfect. Well, I thought that was it. I did the final piece to camera. Thought, oh, good video, wrapped it up. But the lion got up, she started walking along the road, and out popped another female. And believe it or not, they are now just lying right next to the road in which we need to drive on in order to get home. So it just goes to show, when you think things are done and over on safari, they never are. Oh wee, well, that was cool. <laughs> they got up, they had a drink, and then they came right towards us. I was lying on the floor and kind of leaning out of the Jeep with my big lens on because I was photographing them drinking. And one of the females came right up to me. She was probably, I would say a meter, maybe if not a little bit closer. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's it. Wouldn't you say, Chorus? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we've had a hell of a game drive this morning. Yeah. Hopefully the video has turned out all right. And uh, yeah, if you like it, let me know. Yeah. But until then, have a good one. Yeah, man. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs>